come on. Come on. Stay with me. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. It's not much further. So what now? Now we finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. Three of us against an army with suicides. You're right. But it's what he would have done. You got any ideas? Just one. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Drones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. Sentinel 2-1, we're still detecting high levels of contamination in the city. We will not be able to get ground forces to assist you. Over. Copy that, Kingpin. Enemy forces are closing on your position. I see them. Mitchell, weapons free. Light them up. What's going on, guys? Elvis here with another video. This is part 15 the final mission in advanced warfare and uh, yeah let's get right into it if you missed any previous ones make sure you check them on my channel or in the description and this should be great i'm so looking forward to finding out what is gonna happen obviously we all know you know kind of you know like how it's gonna end you know bad guy dying but but you never know you never know uh, anything can happen this campaign so far been amazing full of surprises like so many times I've, I was like wow like I, I didn't expect that and you never know maybe it will happen again and hopefully to be honest I kind of like those moments where you know they just come out with something crazy that you would never expect and hopefully it's a good ending hopefully it's not you know a, a fa it's not a failure it's not upsetting it's a satisfying great ending that's what I want because so far the campaign has been amazing hopefully they don't you know fail and uh, fuck it up at the end because I think that's the most important thing uh, but yeah so the plan is two of us with mech suits are, are fucking against the world pretty much and uh, we can walk on the water all right Alright, so the main goal of the mission is to go in, kill the bad guy, and get out. So, it should be a lot of fun. There's definitely a lot of enemies to kill, for sure. Because he must have, like, so many guards around him and stuff. It's gonna be mental. Uh, so far, pretty slow. I mean, literally. <laughs> Let's move. Gideon, thermal readings are spiking inside the command center. They're going to launch soon. We'll make it. But let me know what you thought of the series overall, how I did. Uh, I need, I know my you know, videos weren't the best, weren't perfect at the beginning, but I definitely made some improvements, as you guys have said. So let me know how I did it, you know, um, if you would want to see more from other games, or what you want to see next, because I, I got some ideas on multiplayer, um, but you know, they will run out eventually. So if you, got, if you have any fresh ideas you want me to do, um, free, feel free to let me know in the comment section below so right now I uh, don't really know exactly what th what this place is is it like flooded kinda place I guess because I mean what else do you see stairs underwater 
but okay. I'm guessing there's somebody here because he was shooting somebody. And yep, I was right. There's a lot of people with lasers and damn, they take a lot, a lot to kill. Oh, we did knock them out. And for some reason, I'm moving really fast. I feel like I'm moving like really fast. I can go left and right super fast, which is good. I like it responsive. I don't, uh, obviously these guys, are, these robots are pretty big, mech suits. But the only thing I dislike is the, the handling. You just feel like you're really fat in these things and you just can't move. I can sprint too. Oh, that's pretty cool. It definitely, uh, you know, improves my mech suit experience because I know and like in Black, Black Ops, no Black Ops 2, Ghost, I think it was like the Juggernaut. They were so slow and you felt clumsy and you just felt so uncomfortable using it. It was just, it just wasn't fun. But something like this is definitely exciting to use. Especially in multiplayer, but obviously it would, it would probably be overpowered if you could move this fast. But then again, with the EXO abilities implemented, then you know if you see this mech, so you can just quickly avoid it by jumping, sliding, dashing, and stuff. Uh, so it could be balanced because obviously the game overall is faster pace than previous Call of Duty games, of course, because of, the, because of the movement. So I would not be surprised if it's if it's you know something like this is possible. And we're just gonna leave them guys up there, make our way down here, kill these guys, and they're still up there, so we can, we're gonna kill them either way, there's no escape from that, let me see what other weapons I have on me, I gotta reload that, it's uh, overheating right now, let me see, okay, it's pretty much a, a cannon, it's cool, I like cannons, powerful, Let's see if I can blow them guys up to bits, let's get it. Okay, make our way. Oh, here they go. Grenade launcher, watch it. I took him out. Nice. He, was, he almost shot me with that grenade and rocket launcher. Oh, there's another mech. Oh, what a shot. You gotta say, that was a pretty de decent shot. That was filthy. Let me have another one by day. Oh, I think it's a uh, lock on. <laughs> I got a feeling better. Let me, let me test this out. If I shoot this. Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't really get to test if it's lock on or not. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's it's kind of locks on at the end. So <laughs> I thought it was just badass for taking that shot, but it's all about it just locks onto the enemy like the last second. It kind of makes that turn. And this thing is just running right at me. Get off me. Okay, that's he's dead. He should be down any second now. There's a grenade. And uh, it, it, feel, it feels so weird to jump with this thing, it's like, it's completely pointless. It doesn't feel right to jump with this thing. Uh, we, don't, we don't need to go up, we're staying down here. Is he reloading? Launch in T minus two minutes. Okay, what now? Move. Oh shit, do I have to take him out? Like, come on, why are you just standing there? Charging, bang! Oh, okay, I missed it. So it's the lock. Lock on is not perfect. Thank you for helping me, asshole. Oh. There's an access point to the exhaust vents up ahead. I'm sending you the position. Got it. Keep pushing forward. I gotta say the movement of these things also feels powerful. Like when you see, it just you just saw him kick the door. It doesn't feel fake. It doesn't feel like it's designed, you know, like badly. Mitchell, over here. It definitely feels. It, it actually seems like it, it could be possible. If you could be seeing this in the near future, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, let's grab this. Tap square, and by near future, I mean a couple of years, as in you know, 40, 50, 60 years, and nowhere near as advanced as this, of course. But, all right, we're just going lower and lower. 
Oh shit. Oh, okay, I was I almost pressed the wrong thing, but this is cool. <laughs> it def definitely looks pretty badass. Probably is because I'm on the I'm on, on PS4 or on last gen. I don't think it would look as good. I'll be honest, because I've seen this game on PS3. And it doesn't look good at all. I mean, obviously, it looks just like a PS3 version should look, but... Oh, shit. How can I brace myself? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure the glass is open, like, right there. Right in the middle, it's cracked, isn't it? <laughs> but, I don't know, I'm, I, I'm telling you, my character can't die. He's invincible. He just doesn't know it. Crazy. But, okay, so we are moving forward to them. I think it's a missile. Yeah, it's, it's a missile. We gotta destroy it. I gotta destroy it. Do I shoot it? Bang. Throw some dose at him. Should blow up in a bit. Almost dead. Shoot it. I'm shooting him. Well, I'm overcharged. I'm fucking over overheated, but I think it should be super fine now. Or not? You failed to prevent the missile launch. Okay, that's weird. I must be shooting the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, let's try. This, let's just try this again. And you could have kind of, you know save the checkpoint a bit earlier after this fall because this fall takes a piss but okay I'm guessing I was shooting the wrong thing there must be, there must be some kind of engine I need to shoot um, but I wasn't really paying attention I was just spraying at one part thinking you know just whatever more bullets will just damage him more but it wasn't the case unfortunately because now I have to redo this stupid part which is kind of cool it's not really stupid but you know obviously because I have to redo it I failed like a like an idiot. So okay, now let's have a look where the engine is at. I mean, I'm gonna shoot directly where it's asking me to, right? Because it's like saying destroy right there. I'm shooting direct, directly at the dot. Like, I mean, it, it does it is causing explosions and shit. That's it. That's it. Is that is it done? I mean. Okay, yes, it's not launching. But I, I passed out. Mitchell, hang on. I'm guessing it's a really hot day. That's why. Stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. Okay, well, I'm not in the best condition, as you can see, I'm getting carried on his back. Oh shit, I gotta use a pistol. Oh nice. You have the recoil on this thing, I'm weak as hell. I can't even use a gun. <laughs> okay, I gotta let this... Let the gun to actually, you know, come in front of my face. Can I take you out? Yes, I can. These guys are terrible, they can't even kill me. I can't see nobody. Where are you? Uh, oh, bloody hell. He was blending in, I could not see him. Stay with me. Even though I'm nearly dead, shit, my shot was pretty good. City defenses are breaking. Atlas troops are collapsing. We need to know the status of that launch. Copy that, Kingpin. The launch has been aborted. Repeat, launch is aborted. You copy? Keep it, come in! Elona, are you receiving? Alright, she's now replying and... We need to move. They're gonna hit this building any minute. Seems like there's a war going on down there. And... I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. Seems like I'm not in a good position to walk here. Completely fucked over, I don't even know why. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you 
fucking move. I could ask the same of you. You're tucking into our exos! Come on, Ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America. Unleashing Manticore, killing thousands of innocent people. I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah. Twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know if we've stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Alright, so we've frozen right here. I gotta press. I gotta press. I gotta get out of this exo suit so I can chase him down. Release. Release. And my arm looks fucked. Now mine. It's not working. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! Of course. I kind of knew that he's not going to work. Get away. Running. He has a gun. Oh shit, oh no! Oh, I forgot to slide. I I saw a circle, so I thought I, can, I have to tackle him by pressing circle. But I had to slide instead. instead. Why did I think I have to tackle him by pressing circle? It's such a stupid thing. Okay, slide, thank you. I got, it. I, I got him, I got him. I don't even know why he's, why he's not shooting me. What the hell? Get off me, bitch. Guy has gone, obviously, you're not gonna. But you have a knife. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, he grabbed my fake arm. Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go. But you got to pull me up. Mitchell. There's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! Mitchell! I kinda knew this was gonna happen. It'd be pretty beast if he would release the knife and the knife would fall in his face in his eye and then he would let go i was kind of seeing that happening but then i was like then you know it's only gonna end one way for me irons gave me a second chance and i gave it back he thought he could solve the world's problems if he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. Advanced Warfare 2, maybe? I mean, it is a giveaway. You never know, but... That was cool. That was a really, really cool campaign, and I'm glad I got to play it. Um, really enjoyable. Probably second, my my second favorite, or maybe yeah, the second, my second favorite in Call of Duty series. My first is Black Ops One. I mean, if you play Black Ops One, you'll know why I, why it's my number one because the campaign is crazy, sick, the story and everything. Um, but yes, it was it, it was it was so you know so great playing this campaign it was really enjoyable let me know if you enjoyed it too because i definitely did and let me know what you thought of the whole campaign of the ending if you liked it or you disliked it and so on but also leave a like if you did enjoy 
or leave a dislike if you really really dislike the video I don't want you to but you know some people just can't resist but that is pretty much the end of this series let me know what else I could do you know any uh, any new video ideas or whatnot but that's it thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video